discretion is advised. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Marley and I are out here in the mountains and we're going to do some jackrabbit hunting today. It's a beautiful day. It's the perfect time to get out, do a little bit of hiking. I'm starting to feel better. And what better day to bring out a new gun. I've got this Daystate Huntsman Revere in 22 caliber. This puts out just about 30 foot pounds. And it's just a really nice gun. I've got a lot of experience with the 17 caliber version. I was using that a couple years ago for some jackrabbits. There are quite a few jackrabbits out here. I have seen them in the past. Um, it's a pretty straightforward place to hunt, pretty flat. And if you're lucky, you're able to spot them. So we'll give it a go and uh, see how we do. Jackrabbits have large ears to not only cool their body, but they can hear extremely well and they can also feel vibration in the ground. So walking slowly is really the key. You want to catch them off guard because if they are alerted to your presence, they're going to take off and you're not even going to have a chance to be able to take a shot. So it's really important to just take a couple steps. I stop, I look around, and in a lot of cases, I'll even look behind me. If I don't see either scat or tracks or even some forms, which are little indentations in the ground, um, which the jackrabbits make, um, I've seen cottontails make them as well. Um, if I don't see those three things, then that area most likely does not have um, a very large habitat of these jackrabbits and so those are things that I look for um, if I don't see see it in one area you know I can move over maybe a couple hundred yards and you'll start to see more activity because um, the thing I've noticed is very little change in veg vegetation um, can make a huge difference in the populations um, you might have like a little um, 100 square yard area that just has a load of jackrabbits and then you move out of that box and there's just nothing so there's something about that little area um, they like and so i think that's the key um, is to really use all that um, to find these spots that that have a pretty good population Under where Marley is, is a good example of where I would be looking for jackrabbits. They like to get under there just like she is for the shade. And very rarely do I see them, you know, far away from sagebrush. Um, they're not really out in the open very often. And if you do see that, it's usually early in the morning or later in the evening. Um, during the, the day, um, you're going to see them you know, at the base of the sagebrush um, under any kind of shade. And so when I'm walking, um, I like to look underneath the sagebrush um, in areas like this. And if you can spot one, um, you're able to get a pretty good shot um, without them seeing you. When we're doing this type of hunting, you know, you got to be prepared to do a lot of hiking, a lot of footwork. You know, a lot of people think we just come out here and, and these jackrabbits are just all over the place. And that's not the case. This is very difficult. Matter of fact, I've come out here and spent three days and not even seen one. And so if you get one, you know, consider yourself lucky, at least in this area. But it's fun to get out here. Um, you know, you just got to take your time, um, stop, look around and really get familiar with the terrain. And if you do see a jackrabbit, you know, kind of take a look at where they were. And chances are, you know, if you find another area that's very similar, chances are you're gonna see one. If you guys are gonna come out and do this type of hunting, it's really important to bring plenty of water. Um, Marley and I come out here a lot. I always bring a lot of water. Although it's not hot, we are walking out in the sun. You can get dehydrated, you can get dizzy, you can fall. Um, so it's really important to bring water. In the past, I've had really good success hunting from higher ground. 
Now we're only probably about 10 feet above the floor here, but that's just enough for us to be able to look down in between some of the sagebrush. And if you walk along kind of a ridge like this, a lot of times you've got the advantage of being able to spot these jackrabbits. So I did spot a jackrabbit and he was running through here, which is some really thick sagebrush. Marley and I are gonna hike out into this area really slowly and we might be able to spot him. Um, but in any case, we know they're here. Um, I wish I could have gotten it on camera. He ran pretty good. And when I spotted him, he was just about 50 yards. Got it. Good girl. Got this guy at just about 25 yards, pretty close. And I think he spotted me, but he was just staying still. And so I was able to make a really good shot, take my time. A lot of times um, you can see them uh, rearing up on their, their hind legs, like they're gonna take off. But he seemed like he was pretty calm. And I think he was pretty confident that I wasn't gonna see him. And I gotta say, he blended in really well. Um, you gotta double take, cause a lot of times, um, you know, you'll walk right by him and not even notice and you'll flush him. And, you know, I've had friends come out here and hunt with me and, you know, I'll say, oh, it's right there, it's right there. And they're looking, they're looking through their scope and they just cannot spot them. Um, really you know what stands out to me is their eyes and i think that's just from coming out and hunting so much you know i'm really used to where to look for them and that that shape um, that stands out against you know all the sagebrush but the gun worked really well this thing's really accurate and i don't even have a moderator on here it's fairly quiet um, and I like the fact that it's short, so it's really easy to carry through a lot of this uh, sagebrush here. And you can see, you know, in some spots, um, it is pretty thick, but awesome. This is a good size one, really healthy. It's got kind of a white belly, which is somewhat of a winter coat and uh, Marley recovered. Aside from just getting out and hunting, you know, I really enjoy the exploration of new areas. I like hiking and it's just nice to get out with my dog and be able to do that. We did find a really nice spot where we took a break for some water and it had a nice panoramic view of the mountain ranges and there was still some snow left over from the recent storm we had. And so it's just really nice to get out and do that and take a break from the city life. Marley and I made it back to the Jeep here. It was a really nice day. It was a good day to get out and do some hunting and being able to hike around. And it was the Day State Huntsman Revere's first jackrabbit kill. And so I'm impressed with this gun. It's one that I can recommend to you guys if you're looking for something that has classic styling. It's fairly short. Um, regulated, side lever, all that good stuff. Um, this would be one to look at. Um, a really nice gun and I highly recommend it. And I will leave some links in the description to all the gear we used. I hope I was able to share with you guys um, some tips that might help you out. We will be back out here. You guys will see more of this gun. Um, but I appreciate you guys and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. If you guys enjoy these videos, give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you like. We put out new videos every week. I appreciate it and we'll see you on the next one.